Oh. Oh. I've been longing for you for so long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've waited 10 months for this moment. Ah, oh. raw European white oak. 12 inches by eight feet of luxuriousness. Our whole job has been held up, but no longer. We're gonna get these babies installed this week. Then cabinets are going in, then countertops, then fixtures. And we're gonna be closing this baby out. Let's go. So we're here in our moody powder bath in Casa Tolu. It's luxurious. It's terrazzo, floor to ceiling, flowing through our integrated sink. So that means the whole sink is gonna be built out of terrazzo. Feel the terrazzo, be the terrazzo, live the terrazzo. <laughs> awesome. So yeah, today we're gonna be basically uh, doing all the prep work, installing all the, all the hardy backer, seam tape, using waterproof screws to make sure uh, all the waterproofing is taken care of. Because the most important thing for us is making sure that we're not gonna have any water damage or anything in the future. Um, also, uh, tomorrow we'll be installing the tile and making sure that we're getting all the details lined out. Uh, everything's gonna be mitered edges uh, filled with epoxy. Uh, so it'll end up with a really clean finish. This is a 45 degree miter cut, and then we'll have another piece that comes up in a 45 degree miter cut to bring this edge as close to each other as possible. And then what we'll do is we'll take some epoxy and mix together some colors to try and get it perfectly matching with this white. We'll put some blue tape across each edge and then fill this whole gap with that epoxy to where it's perfectly the same color and then we'll use some of this uh, sandpaper to just kind of clean up that edge clean up the epoxy then once it's all done seal it and you pretty much you shouldn't have any any type of uh you shouldn't be able to see the edge at all it's just going to be pretty much seamless this is i believe the third project with revent and you know obviously love working with these guys um they're all uh just hardcore about uh getting stuff done and and showing up and and just communicating figuring out the details um and really just whatever it takes which you know in this market is really what you need to kind of be successful so terrazzo is it's a handmade material right it's yes, it's, it's a mixture of natural stone and handmade material. Yeah, so they're they're gonna put basically like concrete and then they mix in stones and then basically what they do is polish it down to where you can, it basically reveals the, the pebbles that they flake into it. Almost kind of like an epoxy floor that you would see um, in, a, in a garage or something like that. But uh, this is actually to where it's stone so we, it's, an actual tile piece. and it comes in four yeah. by eight sheets of tile right yeah so exactly. i'll show you what that looks like it's pretty yep. sweet but cool. it's going to go all the way up the wall integrated into this custom sink and then all the way down to the floor yep it's going to look awesome yeah it's going to look incredible yeah so we've pretty much framed this whole thing in and then once we got it framed we got to a point to where we could kind of see all right we need to put the plumbing fixtures over and kind of adjust a couple things to make sure all of our details were going to be uh, perfect in the end and um, yeah, now we're ready to roll on getting all the waterproofing done, all the seam tape and stuff like that. Weevil holes? It's a bug that drills holes into the tree to so have these holes. It's usually lower, it's shown in lower grade wood floors, so I'm just making sure it's just on a couple. I just saw on a few boards, but this whole batch is corrupted, man. We got a problem. That can't be stained. Like, cause this is gonna be sealed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, these. Those are gonna be throughout. You seem okay. There's a lot of just, uh, you know, half assed people out there working and doing subpar work, uh, subpar details. People saying that they know how to install tile. 
um, but they don't know how to do miters, they don't know how to do epoxy, they don't know how to waterproof, they don't know how to use seam tape, they don't know how to caulk. It should not be done and it's not gonna serve as, uh, as waterproof. I'm telling you, look, so we got, what do we have here? I said eggs for, for lunch? They said yes. There's eggs, hot dogs, what else? Jalapenos? Cebolla? So we had eggs. We had some freaking pork on the bone, like these huge pieces of pork. Bacon, beans. What was the red meat? Uh, oh, chorizo. Oh. And then they were using this and like heating the tortillas up on there. Dude, look at my shirt. <laughs> they were all <laughs> laughing at me because they said I was having an orgasm while I was eating. I was really like, oh. And look at this rice, dude. It was like all this rice cooked in the pork. Oh my God. These guys treat me too good. Dude, they said every day at like one to two. I said I'll, have, I'll, I'll send them my order tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so we are out at our glorious cabana and pool deck over here at Casa Tulum, and I am standing on a cream sawn limestone looter. So all a looter is, it's usually two feet by four feet, two and a quarter inches thick, and it's a solid piece of stone. It can be made out of various pieces of stone. This one is a limestone, they have flagstone, they have all different types. But Maestro Julio, him and his crew laid all of this. This is very, very difficult because you have these massive stones. If you have you know, multiple smaller ones, you're not really as worried about it being level across the whole surface. But basically, all of this needs to end up perfectly level because then it's dying into our pool coping where all of this is flush. So they have to make all of these tough miter cuts here in the corner. They have to make sure that everything is perfectly square so all of this is lining up. And look at just how beautiful it came out. Here's one issue that we're coming up with just now. So with that, not giving us enough space to install that tile mm -hmm. and then have it be like perfectly flush right here at this because we really want this to be like fully fully attached you know yeah so basically gonna have to get a new pipe that way we can bring it a little bit further maybe we can find an extension uh, that way we can get this done right you know i'm gonna have to send this over to john and, and see um kind of what what his thoughts are and see how quickly we can we can kind of get that that piece um but yeah it's gonna it's gonna be awesome basically tile is gonna run up to here um this is gonna be a mirror and then the tile will finish above the mirror and the mirror is gonna be basically like inset in the tile so it cool. just looks like totally seamless and whatnot so we're gonna keep moving on installing this, these tiles and uh, getting the miters like perfectly straight. Um, I'm gonna have them basically just leave this section out for now uh, because we want to make sure that we get it perfectly flush with this edge. That way it just looks perfectly seamless and it, and it drains properly. Okay, y'all, we're wrapping up our week out here at Casa Tulum and it has been a glorious one. We have that beautiful European white oak flooring inside. We're prepping the floors, sanding them because next week it's all hands on deck with flooring. We got our terrazzo integrated sink going in. We had some back and forth on the plumbing. We got all that figured out. It's already off to a great start. I can't wait to see how that shapes up. Outside, we're about 80% done with our looters. Pool deck is almost there. We actually saw cut in the concrete a linear drain at the master slider threshold, better safe than sorry. So next week, as I said, flooring is high priority. On the outside, we're getting all this cleaned up and our landscapers are coming in to do some grading, start on landscaping. We are really off to a great start on finish out and we just need to keep pushing to get this baby done. Y'all stay tuned, appreciate you watching.